work in perennials at Fairview and I'm here on this nice hot sunny day to talk to you about planting around your mailbox. First and foremost, this is the mailbox and this is a clematis and I noticed a lot of people like to plant a clematis around their mailbox because they can train it to climb up. As you can see this one's blooming quite nicely. However, Everybody does this, so we're going to do some different things. Let's say that your mailbox is in a shady location. I've got a ton of stuff you can use. Say hello to coral bells. Coral bells are evergreen, so they're going to stay alive during the winter. They bloom in the spring with nice flat, tall flower spikes. Um, I like to put the taller plants next to the closest to the pole and then you can get lower things further out. Here are some other varieties. You may also want to put hosta around your mailbox if deer are not a problem in your neighborhood. I say that because deer are very fond of hosta, but if you don't have a problem with deer, go for it. Contrast is a great thing. Instead of having everything all matching, same color, if you can go for opposites, it really makes a statement. Speaking of opposites, this is my favorite, most favorite Mondo grass in the whole world, black Mondo grass. It's very stunning. And look at the contrast. I also wanted to show you, you can have fun with our steppables as well. These are shade-loving steppables that people like to do patterns with. Once again, you've got your contrast between your darker green and your lighter green foliage. You can have fun. You can do a checkerboard. There's all kinds of things you can do with these. Okay, let's say your mailbox is in a sunny location. Same rules apply. You want to put your tallest items closest to the pole and the shorter items further out. Now this is going to be a drought tolerant sunny mailbox. Think almost like the desert, only it's going to look really nice. And by the way, full sun is defined as a minimum of five to six hours a day of this. A shady mailbox location would be some morning sun, but no afternoon sun, or full shade by the trees overhead. So he, here we have red hot pokers. I love these things. Drought tolerant. The foliage is evergreen and they bloom with these tall colorful flower spikes that hummingbirds absolutely adore. Further out you can plant your stone crop sedums. This is October Daphne by the way. It's quite elegant. We also have succulent um, spreading ground covers and this in this case this one is called Angelina. So this is a spreader. It's this is about as tall as it gets and it will spread and fill in quite nicely. And then last but not least ice plant. Very low to the ground it spreads but it blooms all season long starting in early spring and all the way until the cold weather tells it to stop. Oops. So these are plants for a nice, dry, full sun mailbox. Colorful, interesting, and drought tolerant. Let's say you have a nice sunny mailbox, but you don't want that, that kind of uh, drought tolerant desert look. These are some classic perennials for full sun. This is a penstemon. It grows quite tall. This would be closest to your mailbox. By the way, penstemon blooms with flowers that hummingbirds really love. I also happen to have some companion plants that look great with blooming perennials. This is lamb's ear and this is silver mound. They belong in full sun. They're also deer and rabbit resistant. And they are relatively low to the ground and look fantastic when paired with blooming perennials such as this Marcus Meadow Sage 
or this early bird cat mint or even this little coreopsis right here. Last but not least, this is a close relative of the lamb's ear. It's in the same family. But this, this is a homolo, and this blooms with gorgeous purple flowers in late spring and early summer. You can kind of see their relationship here. As always, you can plant annuals. You can save little pockets around your mailbox to change out your annuals from year to year. But if you have a good base of perennials, your mailbox will always look great and your neighbors will envy you.